Hi and welcome to the Phone Freak. Today I wanted to give you a quick demonstration of the Samsung code for you. Um, I wanted to run through a couple of things, show you email, calendar, pictures, Google Talk, um, you name it. Uh, of course YouTube and Facebook. So first let's start off by doing the email. Um, here's the email viewer. Uh, here's a YouTube service uh, comment. Let's see, this is from, from Blessed847. Nice vid. Thanks a lot. You know, that means a lot. So, um, you know, standard email, really quick. Uh, let me show you a little bit about the calendar. Um, here I made an appointment with myself, I guess a couple of days ago, uh, to make a video, which I have done. So, um, it's a little confused here with the reply. I'm replying to a calendar event. That's weird. I never noticed that. Here, I could roll down the wheel, and uh, let me show you. Here's my date at a glance. You could see, uh, here's a week at a glance and month at a glance. So um, the calendar, great stuff. Here's the media player. Here's uh, this week in Google. Panel to find Adam, and someone else came up first, and I wound up adding this person. Told, so there you, you know, go. I don't know, to a private way that I uh, the beauty about him. this is that I actually you know, downloaded horrible, this like... um, from the web onto the device, something I could not do with the BlackBerry. So great stuff. Here, let me show you the... Um, some of the pictures I've taken with the two megapixel camera. Here's a picture of a hamburger that uh, we cooked up the other day. And uh, can't really see the color that well on the video, but uh, wow, is it greasy. Anyways, pictures, photo gallery, right on your device. Um, let me show you a couple of ways that you could launch programs besides just doing it through um, the start menu. So um, first off, if you hold the home key, you get the task manager. Um, here are the programs I just showed you, Windows Media Player, uh, my email box, um, my calendar, it's showing month at a glance. Let me show you Palringo real quick too. Uh, this is how I get to my Google Talk uh, buddy. So this is how I um, get to it. You can see the tabbed interface on Palringo. Here's your contact management. Here are your online buddies that you can just click on and chat with. You could also chat with them. Um, using the VoIP that's built in. Um, and here's kind of like your uh, service management and friend requests. So it's all in here. It's running all the time in the background. Pal Ringo, really nice. Uh, let me show you the, uh, let's see. So here's the task manager again. Uh, memory utilization, CPU, just really good. You could kill a program here if it's misbehaving. Um, I've done that once, so uh, good stuff. Now hitting the function key brings you to that the quick launcher. Um, where you could set keys to um, quickly launch programs. So I got my uh, Skyfire, Twitter, and Facebook on here, and I'll show you all three of those uh, real quick. So for me, I is the internet, and that's Skyfire for me. So let me click on that and uh, show you a little bit about this uh, non-IE browser on Windows Mobile. Version 110, anyways. That said, I, I need to set, the, every time I just hit no, I need to set this as my default browser. Um, here is the uh, bookmarks that I have um, as a whole. And let me show you the speed here in New York by showing you the uh, New York Times page. I see this on every iPhone commercial and iPod Touch. They're always showing what the, the New York Times looks like on those devices. So let me show it to you right now. Um, you can see what 1X in New York City is like. Not that bad. I mean, it's chugging along. Um, and here's the New York Times page. Really nice. All right, this is full page. Now I know what you're saying. How could you possibly read this? It's way too small. So that's where the T key comes in. You hit that, and it basically zooms in to the page. Whoa, there you go. I know what you're saying again. You're like, hey, I can't read that. But if, you, if you'll if you notice, uh, give it a couple of seconds, and um, the font re-renders so that you could read it. I'm going to hit T one more time so you can see that. Font looks a little nutty. Give it a couple of seconds. It'll re-render, and that's uh, that's totally readable. So that's nice. Now, I, I could have read it on the on the first zoom, but if you want, you can just keep zooming in. If you hit, hit the left key, left soft key, it'll zoom back out again. You can do your, your page navigation. So there you go. See? So that's nice. Back to the bookmarks. Um... I guess uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is just like YouTube in this browser. So let's go straight to YouTube. Now, if you use Chrome, um, this functions not only as just where you put the URL, but also as kind of like a search uh, 
you know method too so if you type stuff in here it'll it'll search it through Google uh, but I'll just enter the, the server name or the uh, the name of the URL directly so you'll notice I was mistyping it and it's kind of correcting it for me so let me click on there and um, you can see the speed there going pretty fast we should do a speed test on this bad boy um, boom there's YouTube and um, yeah, you can zoom in just like we did before on the New York Times and uh, you click on one of these uh, images and it'll go straight to that page where you could watch the video so let me go to a channel that I'm familiar with you'll notice too as you keep typing it'll try and uh, you know narrow it down for you so there's um, YouTube the Autism Society um, the Mean Kitty um, so as you're typing it in it's it's doing contextual search for you um, so shameless plug I just typed in my own channel page so here's my channel um, now this is no, no mobile version of the internet this is an actual like as if you were on a desktop version so um, you click on on this flash video and you will start playing it I think if you hang around here it'll buffer it I haven't even done that so let me just click it and uh, get it unbuffered this is a good opportunity for you to see this 1x performance so you can see the video is kind of jaggedy but the audio is actually really good so again in a pinch I think um, I think it might serve you in a pinch Alright, so you you get the idea. Again, audio really good. Video leaves a little bit to be desired, but it's watch. I don't know. I mean, you be the judge. Next, let me um let me show you Twitter next. Let me stop this thing. And let me launch right into Twitter. Now there are a lot of Twitter clients out there. This one's Pocket Twit. Um, you can go to my blog to see how you know where you get it, or you can just Google Pocket Twit. And um, basically, um, here's Twitter on your handset. Uh, here's your friend's timeline. So you can see the time, the picture, the comment. You can see the URLs. You click on those, and they basically launch your uh, default browser. So um, really nice Twitter experience, I think. Um, you got your left-hand friend management and your right-hand uh, soft keys for your message management so uh, it's all there you know finally let me show you uh, really quick Facebook uh, this is the Microsoft client version of Facebook um, it's very quick and here's Pal Ringo still running in the upper right that's a little P icon up there next to the battery um, here are my Facebook buds uh, you can see their comments their walls everything uh, let's pull up a profile here's uh, here's my friend Alessandra uh, three months ago uh, she turned 22 God bless. Belated happy birthday, Alessandra. Um, let's take a look at her photos. Just to uh, kind of gauge the performance of this. Let's see. There you go. There are profile pictures, mobile uploads. I've got 34 pictures there in that gallery. Um, old pictures, 1943 modeling shots. And uh, Playa again. Well, wow, beach photos. Love those. Let's take a look. So here, boom. And you saw how fast that loaded up. Ah, there are the girls on the beach. That's nice. Oh, and there, there are the girls walking away. Well, what a perfect way to end it. Um, so that's uh, that's been a quick demo of the Samsung code for you. Um, thanks for watching my 10th video. Remember to visit phonefreak.com for more commentary. If you like this video, please subscribe and comment. Thank you very much. Peace out.